ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let me go ahead here. Let's get on to the next story. Shout out to all 10,000 people in here. Please hit the like button. Appreciate y'all so much. Um, let's see here. We got to talk about this situation that is going on with Tia, uh, Tia Maori. First of all, let me say this, okay? Y'all, I don't follow a lot of people on social media. I've, I've told y'all that, you know, for my mental health, I only follow about 391 people. And let me just share my screen real quick. And most of the people that I follow are regular tea sippers. Like, a lot of y'all, like, you know, maybe y'all left a comment one day. I'm like, okay, this person was funny. Okay, I like their vibe. And I'll just start following you randomly. I don't follow too many celebrities. But one of the few celebrities that I actually do follow who is good for my mental health is Tia Mari. Like, I really like her. I like her twin. I was going to follow her twin. But then y'all be like, the, the husband, you know, was low-key racist. I don't know, child. I said, well, let me not risk it. Because if he say some shit, I'm going to clap back. So I don't follow the twin, but I follow the other twin. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I don't want Adam to say some suspect shit. Then we be in the comments fighting. So I, I picked to follow Tia and I like Tia. She's very simple. She's always doing these like little fun, uh, you know, like reels and videos with her kids. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see like the kids growing up. I just, I like both of them. I, I love the twins. I've been watching them since sister, sister. The whole family is very unproblematic. Um, so imagine my shock. Cause one, I don't follow a lot of celebrities. So my, imagine me minding my black ass business, walking through the streets of Instagram, just scrolling and shit. And now the sudden Tia's like, I'm getting a divorce. Bitch, what? I almost dropped my phone. I almost fell. I said, oh, no. What? The devil is a lie. I was shocked. I said, not me seeing some breaking news on my fucking feed. <laughs> that was some news I was not expecting to see or hear. Okay? I was shocked yesterday. I said, not this shit on my feed. Oh, hell no. I said, maybe she's been hacked. And then, like, two minutes later, the shade room posted. I was like, oh, shit, it's true. It's on the fucking shade room. <laughs> the shade, you know, the shade room posted some shit. Two minutes later, it's true. So I was shook. I was shook. I wasn't expecting this. Let me go ahead and uh, everybody was shook. The whole internet. It was a lot of breakups yesterday. That witch couple. What's her name? The Bunchin' Lady and Tom Brady. They're about to get a divorce. Well, he called her a witch, not me, okay? She be doing all types of spells and shit so he can win the Super Bowl. I played that video a long time ago. She be uh, Garcelle, uh, Garcia, it's whatever her name is. She a supermodel, real pretty. Um, What's her name? Giselle, thank you, Giselle Punchin. Yes, Giselle and Tom Brady, they're about to break up, okay? So that kind of surprised me. Um, Who else? Uh, Oh, Miguel. And his girl, the child, they're always falling for divorce. I, whatever. I believe when they actually go through with it. But this one really hit me right here. Because like I said, I follow her. And I have been noticing little stuff on her social media. Like, I don't see Corey as much. And when they do do stuff together, he don't seem as involved. He doesn't seem, it seems like he's very distant. But let me go ahead and show y'all this. Let me share my screen real quick. So as soon as I seen this on my feed, I told Maddie to go ahead and post it. Um, Tia Mari files for divorce from her husband, Corey Hardick, after 14 years of marriage and two children together. According to the divorce documents obtained by the Daily Mail, Mari 44 cited irreconcilable differences as the reason behind their split when filing to end their marriage in Los Angeles on Monday, according to the divorce documents. The sister-sister actress has asked for joint physical legal custody of their two children, son Cree, 11, and four-year-old daughter Cairo, and did not provide a date of separation. She has requested that the judge terminate the court's ability to award spousal support to both parties and indicated that her and Corey had prenuptial agreements. The document stated that the pursuant to the party's premarital agreement, all assets and obligations of each party are his and hers separate property. Tia is being represented by celebrity divorce attorney, Laura Wasser. So then she wrote this. She says, oh, hold on. 
She said the, she would continue to maintain a friendship with her ex as we co-parent our beautiful children. Letting go can be painful, but it won't hurt as much as holding on to an illusion. Mm. Then she says, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. I'm grateful for all the happy times we had together and want to thank friends and family and fans for your love and support as we start a new chapter moving forward with our lives. So that hit. That one hit really, really heavy. I felt bad. I felt really bad because I really, I, I like Tia. I like her family dynamic. They're very unproblematic. I was very, very shocked. Um, but as I was going back through her page, because you know, that's what we do, chat. We go digging. I was trying to see where there are signs. You know, where there are signs. Um, even on his page, share my screen. This was the most recent post from two days ago. He's like throwing up a baseball. He said, and he's basically promoting, he's promoting his new show, um, All American HC on the CW. Tia's in here. She put a strong arm emoji. Okay. But I remember watching this a few months ago and thinking he looks so disconnected and not interested. I want y'all to watch this video. Okay. It was something else. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Then, of course, people are accusing him of cheating. So he clapped back today. See, I ain't going to soil his name, bitch. Um, somebody said, Corey, no. Don't fumble, Tia. Somebody else says, he fumbled already, ma. Somebody else says, ow. Somebody else says, he cheated on her. Corey says, lies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> y'all know my reading voices. I've been doing too much. Corey said lies, okay? So y'all not gonna be lying on his pain, bitch. He said he wasn't out there cheating and creeping. Y'all stop that, okay? So <laughs> I'm having too much fun today. This is, you know what? This is what I think happened. Let me keep it real with y'all. There was some other, let me see. It was another one I had here. It was something else I had seen on their, their post that kind of raised alarms. Let's see if I can find it. Because I was digging out through her shit today looking for clues. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. She posted this. This was a week ago. It was two things she posted because it was something she had posted on a Sunday and it was such a sweet message. Let me see if I can find it. It was like a really dope message. She posted like two weeks ago about like loving yourself and, and things like that. I'm trying to see if I can find it. She posts a lot. Like she, she, child, she lives on Instagram, child. I don't know. It's somewhere, but it was like a really sweet message about like finding herself and, you know, putting herself first. She posted like on a Sunday because I was here for the message that, like I said, I like to follow her because a lot of her stuff be like real positive and, you know, uplifting and just, just funny. You know, I like little quirky, funny stuff. So I like following her. Um, but two weeks ago she had, okay, I found it. I found, okay, I found both. Hold on. I found it. This is, this is a shame I know this woman's page like that. I found both of them. Because I be on her page. I like her page. So she posted this from the game. Y'all remember this episode of the game? Stupid. You know, people were telling me you're no good. 
but I defended your ass. Okay, I can't play too much because YouTube, you know, copyright policy. But she says, flashback Friday, who else is still mad at Derwin for cheating on med school with Drew? So a lot of people are like, she posted this on September 23rd. So a lot of folks are going back like, hmm, was she trying to drop us a hint? But again, Corey came out today and said it was lies. But this is what she posted last Sunday. Because I, you know, it's popped up on my feet and I liked it. Damn, it has music. All right, I don't want to play the music. Let me just read it. She says, there are two things we can control in life, our attitude and our effort. And as hard as it is to accept all the things we cannot control and to let go, sometimes we have to in order to grow. I am making a commitment to love myself fiercely, unconditionally, and take more trips to the beach because it's where I'm my happiest. Remember. Then she wrote, reminder, you are enough. You deserve love. You deserve to be understood for who you truly are. Tag a friend who could use a reminder, self-care Sunday. And I love that. I thought it was so sweet. But looking back on it, was that, you know, some type of hint to what was going on behind the scenes? Now, this is what I think is going on, you know, because y'all know how I feel about divorce. I don't find anything remotely funny about it. It's sad. You know, it, it affects the kids. I've been through a divorce. So I, I take divorces very personal, especially because I've always liked them together. They've been together for 14 years. So I know this is not easy for either one of them. But what I really think happened, I don't think it's so much um, Corey cheating. I mean, that's that's the salacious part, right? It's always... That's the part that always comes up. Oh, the guy was cheating. He probably, you know, was cheating on her, you know, because we all like salacious shit. So it's easy to just say that he was cheating. But I just think what it is, is that from what I'm seeing, especially with the disconnect, is that they're growing apart. Remember, at the start of the relationship, Tia found his ass at a bus stop. I'm not trying to be fun. I'm just keeping it real, Okay. She found him at a bus stop. He didn't have a car. He wasn't really making no money. He was a struggling actor. Okay. Tia was the one on top. She was well known. She was an A-list. You know, she was on the game. She was on a lot of shows. You know, Tia was doing her thing for years. You know, Corey was always struggling. Just keeping it real. He was always struggling. Well, now fast forward. 10 years later, Corey's doing his thing. His IMBD, child, them credits is thick. He's been on a lot of shows. He was in All Eyes on Me. Remember, he played Haitian Jack. Um, he's now on All American. Before that, he was on another sitcom. So it seems like now he's constantly getting gigs. He's getting more notoriety. Um, he's getting out there more. People are seeing him more. He's now the superstar in the family. Not saying that she's not, but let's keep it real. She hasn't really done too much acting. Yeah, he's also on The Shy. Thank you. Yep, he's also on The Shy. So let's keep it real. She's not doing any real acting gigs right now. She might have, a, you know, some parts here and there, but she's mainly home with the kids, you know, mainly doing TikToks and, and Instagram and, you know, just doing things to make her happy, spend time with the kids. And I think what it is, is that the roles have reversed where he's now the bigger star at this point in time. And maybe with the, his star rising, maybe the ego has risen to, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just on the outside looking in. I'm not in the marriage clearly. So I don't know everything, but I'm thinking maybe it's a situation. But what I'm saying is that his star power has grown a lot is what I'm saying. You know, where before is always Tia and Tamara, Tia, Tia, Tia. But now you're starting to hear Corey's name out there a lot more. Corey's becoming more visible. So maybe they're just growing apart. He's more focused on acting. And to me, he's always come off as more serious. He doesn't come off as like the jokey, jokey type. Maybe he is behind the scenes. I don't know. But I know when they do stuff on Instagram, she has such like a bubbly, kiddish personality. He just seems like he's more serious. You know what I mean? So maybe with this newfound fame, you know, maybe it's an ego thing. Maybe it's a grown apart thing. Maybe he wants a more serious partner. I don't know. But I think whatever it is, 
I think they'll be fine. I don't think this is going to be a nasty Hollywood divorce. I don't think they're going to be on social media blasting each other because they're both, for the most part, pretty private when it comes to their private life. And T and Tamara, one thing about them, they were raised very well. They've always been raised with respect. You've never heard their name, even their brother Taj. You've never seen them involved in a bunch of mess, ever. You know, they made it through the Hollywood shit with, you know, basically unscathed. They weren't out here shaving off their hair and, you know, wilding out and pulling the Lindsay Lohan. So I don't see them having a messy divorce or being nasty towards each other or telling all their business. But I think with their situation, they've grown apart. I think they've just grown apart. I think maybe for him, he's elevating, he's growing, and maybe he's gotten bored. And she's more, you know, in a different space now where she's more comfortable with herself. She doesn't feel the need to like, you know, constantly be glammed up or be at like all the latest Hollywood parties. She'd much rather just, you know, be at home with her family when she's not on set. So I think that's what it is. I really do. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.